All right, happy Saturday, good people of DMV. So I want to talk about home buying one on one today. Home buying one on one for a first time home buyer or even a repeat buyers, you know. So gonna talk about that in a minute. Hey there, this is a KGM realtor with Fairfax Realty in Greenville where we help buyers to buy their dream home and sellers to sell their houses. And we do this in the Maryland, D.C. and Virginia region. So, guys, if you're looking to sell or move into this area or move out of this area, please contact us below and we'll take care of you. We also upload new videos weekly on what is going on in the market region and different uh, real estate topics. Please subscribe to the channel so you get updates once we upload a new video. All right. So I want to talk today about home buying one-on-one. You know, they always say real estate is one of the biggest purchases you ever make in your life. So what the best way to do is to kind of give you an overview of what it involves to buy a house. This is just a overview when you meet with your realtor as i do with all my buyers i sit down and go through each of the steps in detail because there's a lot of details today but this kind of give you an overview so you know what to expect so i always tell people once you're thinking of buying a house because many times when you're ready to buy when you're thinking of buying a house you are really not ready to buy a house a lot of people start thinking they're going to buy a house probably one year, even two years before they're actually ready to buy a house. When you're thinking of buying a house, I always tell people the first thing you really want to do is to get a free uh, credit report. That is, you get it from annualcreditreport.com and kind of look at what is in there and you can make some changes on what needs to be done so that you can get good credit uh, ratings so that when you're ready, you get the best interest rate because the higher your score is, the best interest rate you get. So now if you have done that, let's go to the process of buying a house one-on-one. The first thing you really want to do is to contact a realtor. And the best way to do that is to talk to your family or friends that have bought a house and ask them, can they refer a realtor? Refer uh, people that, you know, your people, your family or friends already work with, they probably give you the best service you know so talk to family friends or co-workers who have bought a house do you have a realtor if they can refer their realtor that means that realtor has really really done a good job want to do that so once you once you did get a realtor you meet with the realtor the realtor should be able to sit down and explain to you what i'm doing now but in a detail of what it involves but so the f- next thing would be for the realtor to connect you with a lender that they use that they know or if you already have a lender you want to use your bank you know whatever bank you use then that's a good thing you you know to get a pre-approval you really want to get a pre-approval before you start going out and looking at houses that is not a good thing to do first and any realtor what this source will tell you you want to get a pre-approval first before you start going out and looking at houses. You can definitely look at houses online. So, like I said, meet with a realtor. The realtor should connect you to a lender or, you know, if you already have a lender, meet with the lender to get a pre-approval. It's a process also with the pre-approval. They'll pull your credit, your income statement, your taxes, all those things will be done and they should explain to you the different home loan programs that are available and what you expect depending on the price range you are in. The next phase, once you kind of scale through that and you do have a pre-approval, is to now start looking at houses physically or uh, online, looking at houses with your realtor. When you go out and look at houses, you take note of your needs and your wants because I always tell people there's no way you will get 100% of what you want in a house. But if your needs are met, then you can, you know, kind of skimp on the wants. So when you start looking at houses, put that into consideration, make a list, know where you want to be, area, and you know, type of houses and stuff like that. So. If you did find a house that you like, you will sit down with your realtor to write a contract. In the DMV area, a contract can be up to 35 to 45 pages. It kind of depends. What I usually do is when I meet with a first-time home buyer, when I go through this process, I give them a copy of the contract. They can look at it while we go through this process, even before we write an offer. So once you did sit down with your uh, 
realtor to write an offer they will explain to you they should explain to you what the offer is and what you're offering and you know all the process involved and all the contingency involved home inspection appraisal and stuff like that once your contract is accepted now we're going through the next phase which is actually loan approval now you remember you've already got a pre-approval loan now you're going to get a loan approval that means they're going to process the loan now because now you have a house that you're buying they'll process the loan while all that is going on the title company also will be doing their own work they will search the title to make sure everything is okay there's no uh lien that is not going to be able to be paid off during that process so the, the title company is doing their work the lender is doing their work your realtor is also doing their work as well because we still have other things that will be done even while we're going through this process home inspection appraiser uh negotiation on the home inspection stuff once we scale through the uh, loan process and your loan is approved now we can do what we call uh closing which is we call uh, settlements and also celebration so once we get to that point now you can become a homeowner you get your key and you move in you become a homeowner right that is just a condes uh view of home buying one-on-one like i said your realtor should be able to sit down and explain and expound on the points but really this is how the process works you uh, you you want to make sure your credit is good you meet with a realtor you meet with a loan officer mortgage banker to give you a pre-approval you start looking at houses you make an offer offer is accepted loan is processed loan is approved you sign on the dotted line you get a key Woo! homeowner all right so guys listen if you're looking to buy sell or move in the maryland dc and virginia region contact me below i will take care of you also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you get updates once i upload a new video ciao